We've had someone get in touch with us to say that there's a load of pipe washed up on one of the local beaches. It's, uh, it happens fairly regularly. It's a waste product from the um, uh, fish farming industry and it's all over the seabed. And with the recent really heavy storms, a lot of it's washed up on this particular beach. Uh, and because we got a decent sized van, uh, we're able to deal with quite a bit of it. And because we can use it directly on the croft, uh, we quite often get the call to come and fetch it just because then it gets used and actually, you know, uh, it's a productive piece of infrastructure rather than just going to landfill like most stuff that washes up on the beaches does. Uh, there's a couple of sections of it apparently that are only exposed to low tide, so we've timed it so that we're there at the right time. And the person who's found it is going to meet us down there and show us where it is at that particular point. I'm not going to film that, you know, I'm not going to be, uh, you know, sticking cameras in anyone's faces, but. Uh, We'll film a bit as we get to the beach probably, but uh, it's a lovely day for a nice little stroll on the beach anyway, so we get to take some plastic out of the sea and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get. It's a couple of days since we did the beach haul and it's been weather, we've had you know really high winds, we've had snow, all sorts. So it's all just stayed here and we're just getting around to filming what we got today. So uh, these are the sections of pipe that we got. Uh, how many meters was it? 34. 34 meters of pipe. I mean, that's a fair length of pipe. Uh, equaling how many kilos did we work that out as? It was about um, two kilos per meter. So, so about 68. That's a decent weight of plastic to haul up. And it's a fair walk from the beach as well up to the road. Um, so yeah, and it's, we've got a load of use for it, but more importantly, I didn't realize until we got this section, it's exactly the same style as connection as you get on standard water pipes, you know, like the, the blue water pipe that you, you know, put in for domestic to, you know, uh, field use or whatever, uh, you know, drinking water, it's the same style. So you can get these connectors for pipe of this size, which I didn't realize. So that's quite cool because it means that as enough of these start washing up, I can start using. I have used these where I've had to splice them in the past, and it's a difficult thing. I mean, they're probably expensive, so I'll probably end up doing this anyway, but it's nice to know that if I've got anywhere that I really absolutely don't want to leak, I can use one of them. And of course, I've got that one, provided I can get it apart. So yeah, we've got a lot of use for this pipe. It's really useful stuff, and we just added to the pile of stuff we've already got. There's also some more apparently washed up nearby uh, that's still available. It's just we haven't really, you know, had a chance to go to the beach, but we will go and get it. As well as the big sections that we were able just to carry up off the beach as was. These are some smaller pieces that uh, were in big long sections, but it was absolutely packed with sand. I mean, the storm that fetched it up must have been, well, it was a big one. Because, uh, I mean, it just, the weight's incredible when these are packed with wet sand, but so I had to shake them all, you know, cut it down to sections and bash them on a rock repeatedly until like, I was knackered afterwards. Uh, and then carry that all up from the beach. And also above the high water mark, we found this thing and it's a beast. In terms of weight, um, our scales go up to 35 kilo. And it's definitely more than that because that's what it was registering at the point that the dial went straight past the maximum mark and then pinged off and the scales themselves burst apart. So I'm going to say it's probably more than 35 kilo. So it's a, it's a lot of weight. Uh, so as well as just weight off the beach, and this is true of all of this, I mean, the pipe will be used. So it's not just out of the, uh, out of the stream and not breaking down into microplastics in, uh, in the sea. It's actually here being used, you know, permanently uh, installed where it could actually be of some use and save the manufacture of materials elsewhere. This is the same thing. Um, it's actually burst, it's pierced, it's got a hole there. So there's actually some water in it, uh, which made it even heavier to get up from the beach. But um, yeah, we've actually got a use for this. What I'm probably going to do is take a line around here, all the way around, and then get the saw, cut that off, because it's really strong plastic. I mean, it's incredibly tough stuff. Uh, and that'll leave me, of course, with a great big round bowl that you know narrows to the bottom. And if I fit a plug, and there's a nice natural place to do it, if I screw uh, a drain fitting onto that with uh, a valve fitting, it means that I can use this as a um, like a cone filter. So I can put uh, like water, for example, that's come away from the duck pond. Uh, I could you know let it settle, or any really rich water like that, I can let it settle 
until all the uh, suspended solids like you know duck manure or whatever was dropped out to the bottom and then instead of having to take all the water off so i can access that i can just chuck a bucket underneath open the valve all the really mucky stuff goes straight out of the bottom shut the valve off and i've still got all that clean water above it good to go so i've got plans for a system like that and this is actually quite a nice little size for the sort of duck system that we've got because uh, what I'm thinking is it'd be a nice system for extracting the duck manure for feeding a biogas system further down the line but you know this will just go into the materials pile and it'll still be good and yeah, ages to go uh, and one other thing we found was this this is a strip of nylon and it's one of those things that's used for uh, you know low friction uh, surfaces for you know trays and so on to slide on so that's really useful uh, so I'll put that into the materials pile as well in fact that'll probably go into the shed because I've got you know drawers all sorts of things planned that you know having some nice runners would be good and again it's stuff that's going to be used rather than you know just going to landfill uh, and coming off the beach so yeah not a bad haul we also got you know a few bits of rope and bits and pieces but that's mostly it not a bad result that for you know basically nipping out for a day and you know making the beaches a little bit cleaner as well